just uh, dropped off my car and uh, I did not seem excited about the separate fuel pump switch, but uh, that's too bad for them. Um, the counter guy just looked at me in horror and I had to write down the details of how to start my car. Um, so that was pretty funny, but um, I hope they don't have too much trouble. I see, I think I see a clip now and I think I see how it works. Oh, he thinks no. he understands. Monkey smart figure out. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to drop this off for to get a windshield replacement and uh what happened <laughs> was they said they were they couldn't get it out without breaking the clips and we were pretty sure they meant trim clips because we looked at the micro fiches and also just toyotas um but here is liam carefully <laughs> well. getting the trim out i told him he has permission to break it he's trying very hard not to which, I mean, I also don't want to break it, but... I see how the clips work now. This is important. Okay. They're not the type that I thought they were. Ah. There we go. And see that? That was like a nice release. Mm. Sweet release. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not doing this because I have no experience with clips of any sort, so I... Funny story, now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're a mechanic. There we go. Look at that. I actually, that's one trim piece wow. removed without being broken. All right, so let's so, take a look. So the, 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 there is some confusion. The, the trim, the clips don't hold the glass in. It, okay. It's urethane in. That's what we thought. Um, I assume they were just nervous because they didn't want to break them, and their technician wasn't familiar with the clips. I'm not familiar with the clips, and he's like, I just broke all these. Really can't you? You can <laughs> never get clips on this old car. In this I did weird, look up the parts number, and, and you can get them from uh, Bangladesh. <laughs> they wouldn't ship to Canada, so I kind of got no. it. They are plastic. I thought they were going to be metal. Yeah, I already knew they were plastic from looking, but... Thanks for telling me. There's another one released didn't break. Holy Amazing. heck. I want you to <laughs> tell me what this pile is doing in your... <laughs> <laughs> this is a broken BRZ. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yeah, let's take a look. It looks like a not broken BRZ. It looks quite nice. It's definitely... Definitely broken. Oh, heck. I think Oops. there might be a part missing. There's a bit of a part missing. I think there's a battery or a fire in the back corner there. I'm oh, not yeah. sure. Oh yeah, I watched your video. Uh, the transmission, I uh, update since since my video. Oh, yeah? The transmission seems good. Uh, okay. Yeah, I did a, a wiggle and a poke. So that's nice. But yeah, most of the original motor and even including the brand new clutch is in the back. Oh wow. I didn't realize I got a brand new clutch with this, but then I got a brand new clutch with I this. didn't realize this is a rear engine Pierce. <laughs> said. Uh, it's trying to be. <laughs> There, the, the slow reveal. Dun, dun, dun. This is what's powering it. Woo! Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got motor. 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 So, so yeah, 2017, and then that's a 2017 there. And they're really close. Like it's almost. If I were to roll it down the driveway, it might flop into there. But um, or if you get the, them close in, enough to each other, they might join. Yeah, we're sort of maxed out on budget of acquiring motor, acquiring car, and all that stuff. So acquiring the tool to lift this into there, I'm trying to borrow for tomorrow. We'll see. For tomorrow. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. But, yeah, you do. Um, that's the motor that should go in there, and hopefully it does. Okay. Yeah. Do we have a Stellar update or no? Stellar is for sale if you want to buy so that I can bring back some of the budget so I can, like, eat and pay rent and all those things. Do you... Um, you don't have to. You can say no, but do you have a price you're looking for for this Stellar? Yes, and it's highly negotiable. If you watch this video, you can give me special code WINK, and we can do highly negotiable deals on Stellar. If you haven't watched this video and you don't give me special code wink then you're gonna miss the opportunity because the ad has a has a little bit of a fuck off price in it in a nice way but yeah he actually doesn't code wink. he doesn't want anyone to buy it which <laughs> no, i really want somebody to buy it but i want somebody to buy it who's not like a piece of garbage you're gonna do oval track stuff with it yeah and also i want somebody to pay me the money that it's worth and maybe not what i paid for it but but maybe what it's worth so uh yeah okay special code wink do you also have an ecotech swap for sale Wink. Yes, I do. The, sorry, I've got, I've got a, <laughs> something in my eye. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you are thinking about doing a rear-wheel drive upgrade on your automobile, like let's say you have an older Corolla, older Datsun, uh, even like an E30 or anything like that, or Miata. Actually, this would be an upgrade. A big upgrade for Miata is um, we put together an engine package for the Stellar. It's an EcoSec 2.2, which is 
at first you're like, that seems weird, but they're actually really um, accessible motors, and it makes it 150 horse before mods. The ECU is essentially fully tunable from factory. It's actually the one that they use for the LS. So it's a, a pretty decent motor setup. Uh, it comes with a T5 transmission, and it's set up for rear-wheel drive cars. So it's actually a really good setup, uh, built by a gentleman who's super smart about them. His name's Blair. He helped me organize it. He's got that for sale, and yeah, that's that was the swap that was going to go into the Stellar. So sweet. Yeah. So there's many opportunities in this video. Many opportunities. You want to upgrade your Miata from 1.6 to 2.2? I think he's selling the swap for fifteen hundred dollars Canadian, mm -hmm. which is like I don't know. 47 US plus three Arizona iced tea, so yeah. Very good. Ah. Well, thank you. Hi, lots of information through not being able to see my. Wait, wait. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, we're missing the upper radiator hose filler neck. Um, the filler neck is kind of where you'll add the coolant and where yeah, our rad cap will go. It's the only, only that's real literally the only thing that's missing it. So that's what we're missing. <laughs> yeah, we're live streaming. There's a noodle. <laughs> You're live. Live. Wow. Welcome to the internet. Yeah, we went, so we dug through the whole car. We went through, there's like nine boxes here. We completely disassembled all the boxes. We've just got pizza <laughs> from Ontario. Oh, this is, is, it, is, it, this is Ontario pizza. The guy drove a really long way to deliver this pizza in a, what is it, a Ford Focus? <laughs> uh, no, no, it's a Elantra. So that's a long drive from Ontario for him. Robert, you can have some. Get in here. We'll, we'll spread it all over the motor. Get your spread on the motor here. Oh my God. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Oh yeah. There it is. Thank oh you, yeah. Mike. Bless. This side, this side's bigger than the other. Oh, I need to update them. They found the part. Nothing was He's missing. Yeah, it was on the way. So. Ooh, there's things in your hair. One second. Let me take them out. There things? Was. Oh, what? I got a thing in my hair. There's like a lot of stuff in your hair, I'll be honest. I was apart. Dun, 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 dun. Today's maybe the day we'll get this started up. We'll need still some need some oil and stuff. Well, we can. Do you want to? Yeah, oil? we'll go get some oil. We'll get Let's this take the in. Stellar. No, I'm too dirty for the Stellar. Yeah, no, we take my Corolla. It sucks. It's no, garbage. like yeah, I'll just walk. It's literally on the street. Uh, my legs are dead, but okay. Yeah, mine too. My legs are dead. Camera fight. Uh, that's really exciting, potentially. We can maybe see if this thing runs today really properly. Uh, yeah. Ooh, woo. Knock, knock, knock it on. Here we go. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, things occurred. We found parts. Yeah. There's yeah. Box or something put somewhere. I'm putting <laughs> Robert for that. But. No, it's probably me to be honest. Um, Neat. So we got oil. We got oil. We got the Poodle. other. If you're the oil that we're using now, it's not the oil that's We got Doyle. Oh no. We're pouring in the car. So we even got some just kind of throwaway oil. I got some really good oil from Platform Garage. They sponsored me some actual G like Japanese quality oil, which is great. Uh, we're just gonna put some dumpy stuff in it for now. That's, that's not bad oil, actually. <laughs> no, it's not bad oil, but it could be better. It Sorry, could be the just fancy careful. stuff. Just careful. Get your phones and cameras away because yeah. this might spray awkwardly. We're, and now we are gonna put proper coolant in this at some point. This is just to start the motor. That's it. Just to see if she runs or not. Uh, to see if there's knock and things. I didn't want to put all my fancy coolants and stuff in. Uh, find yeah. the motor has a knock, or find we missed like connecting something. That's. I just don't want that to happen, so we're gonna top it up with some cheap stuff uh, that's easy to clean, and then once we know life is good, we can refresh it with all the good stuff. So, uh, yeah, we totally weren't expecting to find these parts today, and I'm super stoked we have it. 
because all the other covers and stuff that are missing aren't needed, but I know I'd like them. Otherwise, I think we could try starting it today at some point. No, we're gonna, it's going to start running. Like, yeah. If you, if you say no, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> I mean, I want to get hit anyways. See, I'm getting filmed. There's so many people filming on this, and I'm always so dumpy looking. It's so bad. Urgh. have some coolant and some oil in it. Did we check our oil level? I did. It's, it's almost, it's like this far below the top. Yeah. Like, it's like this far below the top line. Okay. It might drop a half a liter when you start it and it circulates. Okay. But for now, what we're doing yeah, is Okay. Like uh, five, give a, 5.8 quarts is like about half, five and a half liters, 5.4 liters sort of thing. That's fair. I'm, you know, I, I'll be honest, I'm really nervous. Uh, I just don't want to find out this motor has a knock, and if it does, I accept that, but... Uh, I actually, you know what, I'm saying I accept it, I don't accept it. <laughs> this motor has a knock. Okay, stop talking to the camera and go in there and turn the, push the button. You so don't... Press the clutch. Oh, uh, I have stuff in my way, give me a second. Oh, plant. We got plantes and the free Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, well... It's gonna, and the thing is, like, it's gonna, it might need the fuel system to prime and stuff because the fuel system is technically dry. Probably clutch in, maybe for the brake. Oil light went out? No oil light? 